That's my sister. Tell her I'm busy. Let me make a few things perfectly clear before I go deeper into this evening's homily. I am pro Israel. I believe anti Semitism is despicable and has no place in our country, and certainly has no place amongst Christians. I also want to let you know we're at a point where we must say that the disruption taking place in Gaza must stop. 44,000 lives have already been lost. Enough. This has to be President-elect Trump appointed some people to different offices, but not just the cabinet. There was a special appointment that I took a special note of. It was the appointment of Mike Huckabee as the ambassador to Israel. And in Ambassador elect Huckabee's account before the media, he said that he welcomed the opportunity to serve the people of Judea and Samaria. Welcome, the, welcome, the, welcome, the, welcome, the, welcome, 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 Terms. And behind those words, Judea and Samaria, is the welcome the welcome the welcome the of a restoration faith. Welcome the restoration faith's name. This is very prevalent amongst basically, I would say, fundamentalist Protestant religion. Welcome the welcome the welcome the restoration faith says. That in order for the Messiah to come, well, Israel then. must be restored, and he can only come once Israel is restored, and for many, the temple must be rebuilt. Welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear. That dear. is one of the motivating forces behind the welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear, welcome dear. Behind the well, elimination of many people in Palestine, well, of course, it is the reestablishment of a Jewish state, purified Jewish state, and as I said, puts on the reestablishment of the temple in Israel. Welcome, dear. Welcome, dear. This Welcome is dear. not what mainline Christianity believes. Welcome dear. This is not what Catholicism believes. Welcome dear. Certainly, Israel must be recognized as an independent state, and established international law. And certainly, Israel should be a secure nation. But it's a secular state. It's not a religious state. Welcome dear. Welcome dear. Welcome dear. Once people buy into Welcome restoration. Dear. It becomes a religious. Welcome, dear. Welcome, dear. Welcome, dear. And therefore, once it becomes a religious state, welcome, dear. Welcome, dear. Welcome, dear. We are in danger of losing welcome, a very, very important point in our theology, Christian theology, as it has been known over the centuries. And not just a fundamentalist theology, which reads the Bible in such a way that it's almost looked upon as a roadmap. You see, it says this here, you see, it says that here. There are plenty of scripture passages in the Bible, 
Old Testament and New Testament, which talk about the restoration of Israel. Well, but we know because of Christ that this is what we call apocalyptic imagery. Well, it talks about end times. Well, be but for us, we are living in the end times, and that the restoration of Israel is not just a geographical place. Well, be but Israel is restored through Christ because we, Christians, and those who accept Christ, the I become, have been grafted onto the tree of Israel. The tree. And therefore, we share in the promises that God gave to the children of Israel that Jerusalem will be restored, but it is not the trace. The temple will be restored. It is not a place. The, the temple tree. is Jesus. Jesus is the temple. The tree. And we share in God's promises because we've been grafted onto the tree of Israel. Israel remains God's chosen people. Therefore, we can have nothing but love and respect for the children of Israel. But this does not mean that we have to force the hand of God by establishing a state and then say, you see, we got it. Now God will have to come. And it's putting God in a terrible position. How many times has Jesus said in the scriptures, nobody knows when. Nobody knows when. I don't even know when. The angels don't even know when. God comes at the end of time. But God is the Lord of time. And God is the one that decides when Christ will come again. Does not depend upon a restoration of Israel per se. It does depend though on the new Israel. Those who share in promises that God made to God's people and those who share faith in Jesus Christ who is the new Israel the new temple where God has given perfect worship in Jesus Christ. We're talking about the feast of Christ the King. And uh, you hear the scripture passage, you know, are you a king? You know, you say that I am. Where is your kingdom? The kingdom of God and the kingdom that Jesus is talking about is that the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. Let's look at the Beatitudes. See, the Beatitudes are a charter for the kingdom. The Beatitudes are a charter for the kingdom. And so, when we talk about this kingdom of God, when we talk about God's reign, we have to look at the Beatitudes. And God reigns when we are living out the Beatitudes. That's when God reigns. So, let's take a look now at the situation once again in God's It is an awful situation. What Hamas did, reprehensible. But there comes a time when the retribution has to stop. Because it's not Christian anymore. It's not what we believe. We cannot allow innocent men, women, and children to be killed because we want restoration it is. What the attitude said, this is what we have to apply. This is what we have to apply when we are deciding what's going to happen in Gaza. What's going to happen in Israel, the West Bank, the Golan Heights.
beatitude. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. That is not what's happening now. 44,000 people have been killed. Blessed are the merciful, they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the poor in spirit, which we call the children of God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons and daughters of God. And so people talk about God's kingdom. It doesn't come by killing people. It comes by living those beatitudes. Mercy. That's Christianity. That's what our king tells us. Christ the king. His kingdom is not of this world. Those are the peacemakers. They are the children of God. Where's the peace now? Government is supplying weapons to kill people. Proxy wars. That's what God wants for the restoration of a piece of land. What's our prayer? We all have to take responsibility for this. And I think Mr. Trump has to take responsibility for this too when he gets into office. He stop right now. Stop right now. The killing must stop. Humanitarian aid must be able to get through right now. The people of Gaza, the Palestinians were suffering. That's the gospel. Our prayer. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Not on a piece of land in the Middle East. Thy kingdom come into the minds and hearts of men. And God's kingdom only comes when people accept the attitudes. They accept the attitudes. God's son, he'll make everything right. I love it.